Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. It's a Halloween movie! Did you get it? Okay, so this is Trick or Treat, not to be confused with the 1986 movie with Ozzy Osbourne and Gene Simmons. Trick or Treat is an anthology film centered around four stories set on Halloween. It was released inexplicably after two years of delays by Warner Brothers in 2009. As for the reasoning, one can only suspect. I've heard it was delayed because it was going to be released against Saw 4, or because the writer and director was involved with the disappointing Superman Returns. My own theory is that it has to do with the several children that die in this film, some pretty graphically. And for horror movies, child death is kind of a touchy issue. But come on guys, it's a horror film. The audience knows what they're getting into. As for the movie itself, it's very funny, and I was surprised by how well it all came together. It's an anthology film, but all the stories are weaved together seamlessly, so it never feels disjointed. Anthologies have always been a mixed bag for me, since you don't have much time to connect to the characters, but when it's done well, it can be a fun experience. And much like Tales from the Crypt, Trick or Treat is able to mix terror and laughs together in a way that doesn't make you feel cheated on either front. Go watch Charlie Brown. And I'll be in in a minute. Charlie Brown's an asshole! Billy Wilkins! Language. I really enjoyed that the kids swore in this. It seems like a callback to 80s movies like The Monster Squad and The Goonies. But don't think that this is a kids movie. As I said before, they don't get off easy in this. As for the stories themselves, I didn't feel like any of them were weak, though you might see the ending of Anna Paquin's story coming before it happens. My favorite is the one they save for last, which is also one of the main elements weaved through all of the stories. Throughout the movie, you'll see a little guy named Sam, either sitting in the background or briefly part of the scene. Sam really loves Halloween, and you'd better have a treat for him when he gets to your house, or you might just get a view at who Sam really is. It's shot and acted very well, with lots of great dialogue and interesting visuals. Most of the effects are done practically, making the movie again seem like a callback to the horror films of the 80s. Overall, if you like dark humor and you're looking for a movie to get you into the Halloween mood, Trick or Treat is worth the watch. And remember folks, Sam might just give you a visit too.